When you are at the library website, you can come here under Research and Academics and go into the Citing Sources part. That will take you to the uh, page in the website where all the citations happened. And if you come at the bottom here to, in Citation Manager, you can look at RefWorks part and there's a place that you can log in with your UCMF set ID. So you can click on that and it's going to ask you for your UCMF set ID. And since I had my UCMF set ID a moment ago and I did it once, it's showing this. I'm going to reduce the size, there you go, of my screen so everything can be seen. Now, what I want to show you is the issue. You do not have to input the reference by hand because what I thought somebody did is like, okay, I go to new reference and I get this horribly big window where I have to type absolutely everything to it. It's like, no, 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 no. Like my song says. You can do this a lot easier by now going into the search mode and going the online catalog and database. So here, this window is going to come up. And let's assume that I already have done a search and I'm looking at a reference. Notice that my searches have something called the PMID number. That PMID number is a number that will let you uh, find that reference in any database possible. So you can go here now back to RefWorks and you can enter that as part of the search because I am now in PubMed. It's going to display 50 uh, websites, I mean 50 items if I switch, I, I choose to do that. But I can put that term there and search. And immediately there is my reference with all the information, all the authors, and what I can do now is click over here on the button and hit import. Do you want to import the reference? Yes, sir. Reference, thank you very much. And sure, I can look that. I'm going to click that out and click that out. And now, ta-da, I have the two references there. So you do not have to input anything by hand. Once you are doing the reference search in PubMed for papers which are peer-reviewed, please, no using websites. Um, you can use books that are present as part of edited volumes. The textbook that we have is not a reference. The manual that we're using is not a reference. Remember, the ultimate goal is to write this paper for an audience of scientists. Talking about experiment three in the class means nothing to somebody in Australia who's now going to read your paper. All right? So now, here you have rest words. You were saying, I cannot find the, um, the output that I, that I want. You, however, can come over here in bibliography and go to the output style manager. And remember, we're going to be publishing this in the Journal of Bacteriology. So what you can now hear in the search, in this left side, it's showing you all the potential outputs that you can have. And if you look, it's a list that is immense. Because every single journal of science is present there. So we can go back here and put bacteriology and do a search. And now the journal of bacteriology happens in there immediately. I can click on it and I can add it. How do I do the addition with the little arrow? There we go. And now the journal of bacteriology is part of my reference mode. So you do not have to guess. It already knows how to input all the papers from papers, from journal articles, from books that are edited, as long as you tell what the reference is. So here I can go back there. So you, for, for example, here, you see this is journal article reference. So it knows already that it's an article from a paper. If I were to use a, uh, a book that is, I'm using a chapter from a book that is, had an audit, has an editor and the editor has authors, it will also know that automatically. And it will reference the, it will form as the reference accordingly. Yes, Daniel. Are you submitting one? You probably can. I mean, it's all it's due tonight at midnight, so you still have time to do that. I know. I know. If, that's what I'm saying. It's due tonight at midnight, so you can do that. Yeah. Also, 
Yeah, so sometimes the articles well said, if you go, I don't know if these guys are going to do it, but if I, if you go into, I have, I'm waiting for a phone call from a student, that's it, so I'm sorry, apologize for that. I should have mentioned that earlier, now I want all you cookies, because I didn't set this. So sometimes in here, um, I don't know if this is the place to do that, you can send to Citation Manager, um, but it's, it's not, I don't know which format it is. Some places you can, some places you can. But anyway, this is one easy way to be able to input this material directly to your reference, guys. You do not have to type that information on all. Because when you click on this, when you click in this reference, let me see how that's happening now. I think when you go like this and you view the reference, for example, if you want to edit it, which I don't want to edit, all that information is already input there directly from the journal. Okay? So now you know how to use reference now, how to put the reference directly. I just wanted to show you this part of how to input your library. Remember, this is supposed to be a paper, so make sure that you get everything that you say has to be referenced. So we're going to have different iterations for this, and this is why I'm doing this with you, because we, I want you to learn together with me, so you can be good scientific writers. Okay? All right. I'm going to stop there. Let me stop my recording, otherwise this is going to go forever. <laughs>